Justice Cinema, where we focus on a film on justice is Simply Cinema, and today I'm going to be ranking my top 10 favorite rom-coms from my least favorite to my favorite, and I'd love to see you join me in the comments below. Rank your top favorite rom-coms, what am I missing from my list, and let's just all share some respective opinions, have a nice discussion as we share our love for cinema, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you can help me reach my goal of reaching 500 subscribers. That would really mean a lot for me. And so let's go right into the list. Coming in at number 10, we have While You Were Sleeping. Now oh, this is a sweet, enduring one from Paul D Pullman and Sandra Bullock having great on-screen chemistry, just some great moments about this woman as in madly in love with this man that she never talks to, and one day the man gets into an accident. Sandra Bullock plays a character who is mistaken to be the fiance of his, and just while he is in a coma, she falls in love with this brother of his, and so what they have to do, the romance that blossoms from that incident, is something that has it's such sweet moments pulled on throughout and just has something that really sticks out and is very unique for this film. And coming in number nine, we have Seen in the Rain, a classic about the older Hollywoods transitioning from the silent era to the talkies and just what they have to do with that in the romance that arises among these couple of people. It's just really nice to endure. It's a great musical. It has a great soundtrack. And just everything that comes out of this is just something that really blossoms and has a great way of tugging on your heartstrings. And coming on number eight, we have Palm Springs, a recent Hulu release from the 2020s that is really good it has a Groundhog Day type effect where you repeat the day over and over and just all that comes out of that, how they bring about the romance between what they have these actors is just really great. The different amount of chemistry they have and how they utilize the day to the fullest and having to relive the day over and over is just another fun trope from this type of genre that you just get some lovely ideas brought to the table as you really bring this romance aspect into this type of genre. And going to number seven, we have Down With Love. Now, I think this is an overlooked one. Fun director Peyton Reed that really brings out something that I haven't seen before from Ellen McGregor and what he does with his role about, and he goes about romancing with this novelist that is all about being a feminist and what they have doing with that is just so charismatic and different and yet very funny of course throughout it's very zany what they all have to do and yet it has such a lovely vibe to it it's such warm feelings that bring some laughter throughout the whole story that is very unexpected and very lovely for how they pull off what they do with this film and it's very different for what you may be expecting. And coming to number six we have Manhattan, one by Woody, Al Woody Allen that is really great for what they do. It has a novelist, of course I'm a novelist as well so I enjoy those type of films but they have that sort of love story where it's a little bit of drama mixed in but the novelist is in love with this girl but he's also down in sticking with what his work is and enjoying his work while there is conflict within the relationship Woody Allen has a natural way of writing a comedy mixed in throughout and pulls out something that's really great really charismatic for its time and just something has a complexity that is also quite simple for what they pull off, pulling down real life, yet having great 
chemistry and great cinematography for what they're pulling off with this film. Before we get into my top five, make sure to comment down below what your favorite rom-coms are of all time. I love to share the discussion and continue it down in the comments below. Have some nice respectful opinions about others' opinions and maybe share some that we missed along the way. And so coming in number five, we have It Happened One Night, a 1930s film that I really enjoy just for the general atmosphere that Frank Capra brings as a director about a woman that's trying to get away from her father to marry up with this man that she does love in Manhattan and just what they have to do with that and the man she meets along the way as she runs away from her strict father just brings something up that is very charismatic very lively and unexpected for this road trip type of venture that brings up all these different environments and brings up all these different areas that you're going into new settings, new characters that they may be one-off and something simple to add to the background and side characters, but the main character she meets and falls in love with along the way is such a great sort of, it creates a great chemistry and what they do with that is something unexpected and yet is very replayed to this day but of course for when it was released it must feel very f fresh and for that matter it's something that really lives up to this day after all. And coming in number four we have His Girl Friday about a man that's trying to not get his wife divorced from him and just what they do with that point as a newspaper writer the way he goes about this and also involving different things is something really grand and quick paced and quirky just having Cary Grant bring in a great performance what they have to do and all these different things they go about with the plot is something so memorable something so fun and lovely for the romance that comes about with that and the comedy that comes along the way and coming in number three we have City Lights now Charlie Chaplin I'm still exploring his filmography but this one is one of his best a great one that blocks Awesome, this guy that's just trying to do everything he can to get into this romance, fall in love with this girl, and so he does different things, creates different environments along the way. The writing is absent because it's a silent film, but it's still grand in how they communicate to the audience the romance that's going about along the way, what he's doing in order to achieve that romance, and just the downfall of the con comedy that comes along with it is something that really stands out even to this day. Coming to number two, we have 500 Days of Summer, one that's very different than some of the other films on this list, just because it's an expectation versus reality type of scenario where you're getting this boy and girl type of relationship, and yet some things are playing off with the expectations of what you're wanting for this relationship and not always playing out in all the right ways, and it has the drama mixture because of that, but it has the enlightening moments of a comedy that plays off in such a nice way that still tugs at your heartstrings for what you want to happen, for what you're cheering for and may be able to relate for, to when you're getting to a relationship yourself, but it doesn't always play out in all the right ways and that you're wanting to happen for this and so it just has a great mixture and yet I'm counting it for the comedy list in the grand gesture that it is having that light hearted moments th played on throughout even if it doesn't always land in all the right ways you want. And coming in number one, we have My grand, my Man Godfrey, one that's really grand for just its older 1930s aspect. It's a classic film, film that has the right feel to an older film, yet it has a relationship that blossoms out in all the ways that 
you're just loving still to this day. It has all the right comedic elements for this man that you just find uh, on this adventure, on this scavenger hunt along the road and just what they do with that and how he becomes a butler to this family, the, re the relational dynamic that builds up between that family and him as well as between him and this specific girl within the family. It just creates this dynamic that's so grand and so enlightening just how to use simple comedy simple drama even in the mix that creates this great element to that makes me just adore this film for what it is makes it feel like it's giving me a hug just for how they design all the production and creating some simplicity out of this complex relationship that they establish and so that's just my ranking of all 10 rom-coms from my least favorite to my favorite and let me know down in comments below your list of what your favorite rom-coms are down in comments below so we can talk our love for cinema and just establish what this dynamic is and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to help me reach my goal of 500 subscribers and that's just also make sure to do yourself a favor and go watch a movie